Well, gang, it looks like that we got another mystery at our hands. Yeah, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? We meet once again. We gotta talk about a huge drama going on in the video games industry right now, man. Clench your butt cheeks, put your seat belts on, like the video if you love your mama, like the video if you think they're two genders, dislike the video if you think they're 5,000 genders. Guys, I'm not a savage, I gotta give everybody equal chance, and man, I waited a while to salute the captain, the homie, the king, the captain, BBC! <laughs> Salute to the Captain BBC. He back. He back. Guys, I got a video that I want to share with you guys. And it's going to get... The ride tonight is going to be bumpy, so fasten your seed balls. And just to kind of bring you back to October the 2nd, 2024. Maybe you're watching this video in 2050 when this happened. But we heard reports, allegedly rumor, Ubisoft's upcoming Assassin's Creed Hexe will be the gayest Assassin's Creed yet. They're not worried about making the best game ever they're worried about making the gears so that's their word allegedly whatever you want to say i believe the story after what they done to the homie yasuke but uh shout out to the homie andy pence roll it these things will Let's allow play. us to reflect on contemporary issues <laughs> uh assassin's creed the top surgery dlc this this is why i'm saying assassin's creed is, is completely cooked dude it's completely done what you should be doing as an as an owner and a runner of a company is trying to figure out gosh why aren't people interested in our game yeah hey guys assassin's creed is completely uh -oh. cooked as a brand it's completely done it's completely over and i say that because in the new game that they're coming out with which fans hated uh, nobody wanted this game it's got a massive uh, downvote dislike on youtube mm. nobody wants this game and now they're saying that they're doubling down on it they're definitely making this game and I think it's pride. And it this is this happened just a couple of days ago, right? There's a, a obviously new information in it, but check this, right? This kind of baffled the minds of many. It baffled the mind of all the scientists around the globe, and, and nobody knows what's going on, right? Like, what the hell is going on? What the hell is wrong with these circus? Assassin's Creed Shadows of the BBC. Boss claims DEI is killing game. Facts. So glad he realized that, but then he not only doubles down on it, but also started attacking critics. What? You crazy? What the actual hell is wrong with these suckers, man? Are in Urdu real quick. Are kutte de o bachcho tanu sharam nahi aandi. Ye doob ke mar jao pech. Oh kutte de bachche saale. Yeah, what what is going on, man? Malum hai. Chal apne baap ko mat samjha. Chal chal. Hop. Right like what the what is wrong with these suckers, man? Damn. This is what y'all suckers doing to black people, bro? And to my Japanese homies as well, to my black homies and my Japanese homies, what the actual hell? They can never make a normal black human in video games ever. It gotta, uh, there's always some weird stuff attached with black people. They come out with always, right? They always are like, okay, if the person is black, they gotta be either retarded, fat, ugly, gay, or this and that. And they done it to our real life Yasuke. Now we talked about it a billion times already. Yasuke was a real person who was not, not a samurai. He was not gay in real life. If he was gay in real life, then totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. I'm, I'm all up for that, right? Like if he was gay in real life, then surely you gotta make him as he was in the game because that would be real. You know what I mean? But he was not and they're like nah bro that was his biggest achievement so that's what they done this is why i'm saying bro they can never make a normal black human again uh never they can never make a normal black human ever in video games at all they always do that they always do that to them brown people like me they they never they don't exist what the hell is wrong with y'all suckers out here man i guess suckers gonna be suckers man and on top we're talking feudal japan 1600s so they ended up like of course uh doing that to my asian homies as well man so yay but let's actually get down to what's new man let's and see it's arrogance that has led them to this point because um assassin's creed is their biggest game and they think we're too big to fail we can put whatever piggy gay communist slop in any game that we want and you will gobble it down like the good little piggy that you are um it's it's pride that has caused this and so yeah mm -hmm. assassin's creed is completely done as a brand and i think the quotes from this guy this uh boss at ubisoft will will kind of stick the stick a fork in it and show you what i'm talking about uh, so, a couple, so a couple of months ago around june ubisoft released two trailers for assassin's creed shadows um one was one they were calling the world trailer and one world was called trailer. the official world premiere premiere trailer i guess the world did not like it <laughs> And both of these are the official Ubisoft videos um, on their YouTube channel. Yeah. And one of them got 24,000 upvotes and 146,000 downvotes. And the other one got 100, uh, sorry, 298 upvotes and 592 downvotes. Yo, can our brother get two likes on the video, bro? Bruh. 
like the video if you just want games to be normal again like the video if you want them to treat black people with respect japanese people with respect white people uh, with respect females women with respect lgtv people as re with respect too because these suckers using lgtv people as shields black people as shields don't you know the asian homies they're openly being racist towards white people and also like the video so th th they, they treat brown people with respect too because to them brown people don't even exist these suckers in the name of diversity these suckers are racist as hell towards everybody if you're christian they hate you if you're muslim they hate you if you're religious they hate you who you guys like you guys don't like females because uh, you always do this uh, this to my queens you turn all my queens into king kongs <laughs> What the hell is wrong with y'all suckers? You are, you guys are sexist as hell, racist as hell, uh, racist as hell. You guys don't like gamers, a and gamers are your target audience. You need to sell games to the gamers, where you're like, nah, 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 nah. Gamers toxic. Gamers manipulate. E -e 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 -e. Gamers can go die. Gamers are uh, toxic. Toxic gamers. Toxic gamers. What is wrong with you guys, man? Damn, this thing is crazy, bruh. Right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. Guys, if you have Twitter or X, I would definitely love to have you over on Twitter. Links are always in the description, in the comments. Appreciate you, kings, man. Shout out to all my kings. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. And so there's something that people are finding very upsetting and very disturbing about this, and they're not wanting to play this game. And mm. I don't think it actually has to do with the fact that this guy's black. Um, uh, that, yeah. that might be a big part of it, but... In a year, I think gamers are a lot smarter than people realize. And in a year of blackwashing, in a year of woke politics, um, people are seeing this and yeah, yeah, people yeah. immediately know what facts, this is about. Thanks, thanks, thanks. People immediately identify the pandering. People immediately identify the woke politics now. And, and to be honest though, crap like that doesn't help anybody. It only like divides people. I guess it does not divide people. It, it does, but it divides the low IQ people, right? Because the people, you guys, high IQ, high IQ gang, we're seeing what's going on. They're they're trying very hard to d divide us all. Gamers, bro, we don't care, man. Like, what your skin color is, uh, what your race is, if you're re religious or not, if you're straight or not. We, we just play games with people that are chill to play games with simple as that right we just yeah bro like it was never really about that but when you push this crap down people throat of course people had enough like we've been seeing this crap go down in video games and movies for a while so people had enough and uh, we're talking a game set in feudal japan Wh why you guys are putting yasuke in it right and if you're gonna put yasuke in it have some respect for the real yasuke that is no longer with us he cannot come down and defend himself you, you know what I mean, right? Like, it, 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 it just put yourself in the shoes, all right? Whether you're white, brown, black, whoever you are, or whatever you identify yourself as. You're an individual with a brain, right? Just think of this way, right? Put yourself in the shoes of Yasuke. Imagine you're no longer on planet Earth and you've done amazing things and Ubisoft is making a game on you. You're probably, like, happy sitting in in heaven but then you realize what they've done to yasuke and all of a sudden you're like i cannot go back defend myself please don't make me this don't make me that please please i'm begging you i'm on my i'm on my knees i'm on my knees right now no diddy no diddy i'm on my knees right now please don't please do my story justice please don't do don't uh, assassinate my character don't assassinate my character please i'm on my knees no diddy once again Come on, man! What the hell is wrong with y'all suckers? You, y instead of making Yasuke, y'all made Yas gay. What? Man, these suckers crazy, bro. And gamers are speaking. Assassin's Creed fans are speaking. They're saying, we don't want woke, homo Assassin's Creed. We don't want uh, blackwashed, forced in minority Assassin's Creed. You guys have never done that with an Assassin's Creed game. And if you do it, we're not playing the game. We're not buying the game. And, and the gamers have pretty much already spoken about this. Yeah, and just yeah, to yeah. give you a comparison here, this is something my, my wife brought up. Is it not incredibly racist to take one diverse person and replace them with another diverse person? Um, you're basically shitting all over Japan's history by saying, "Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah." No, we're not. We're not going to have a Japanese person in there. We're going to put a black person in there for no reason. Um, mm. It would be the exact same as if there was an Assassin's Creed Africa game, which mm. you know, uh, Assassin's Creed Origins was in Egypt. Facts. Um, but imagine. <laughs> Imagine if they had taken the main character from Assassin's Creed Africa. Yeah, is that the act, man? You're the guy. The reason I'm saying this is because, of course, Andy Pants and the act man has been beefing for a minute. They got a massive beef, though. They had a massive beef, man. 
they had a massive beef. That drama was juicy. Ooh, <laughs> that drama was crazy. So the I feel like this is uh, him. Looks like uh, looks a little bit like him. At least the smile and, uh, but I don't think the Eggman got hairstyle like that. So probably not, probably not him, but close to him. And I know why he did that because the picture is very ambiguous looks like him and I know why Andy Pence did that because the homie Andy Pence I've been beefing but what's surprising to me is when he just said moments ago he said right he has a wife <laughs> listen man god bless but like bro you broke the bro code gamers don't have a wife of course guys I'm joking I'm joking <laughs> Uh, but, instead of being a black guy, they subbed it out with a white guy. So what they've done here is is incredibly racist and incredibly dishonest. And that is why gamers immediately are reacting this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you yeah, delve yeah. into the history, Yasuke, uh, let me see if I can find a photo of him. Is it Yasuke? Yeah, or Yasuke. Yasuke was a black guy. And yes, he lived in Japan um, during the 1600s. Now, this is not a photo. Obviously, there was no photography back then. This is just a reenactment. Um, mm. So he was a black guy. He was a servant of this guy named Nobunga. And, um, but he was in no battles. Um, historians disagree with whether he... That hairstyle is bussin though. I want that hairstyle as well, man. That hairstyle bussin. He was in no battles. Um, historians disagree with whether he should even be called a samurai, but samurai could have been a, a class, certain class of a person who owned property or something like that. But there's no record of any battles this guy fought in. So to go back to my Africa comparison, it would be like, hey, a, a white guy visited Africa one time in 1600s. Let's make an Assassin's Creed Africa game starring a white guy. <laughs> that is idiotic beyond belief, <laughs> oh and it betrays God. your retarded woke politics that are coming through in your game. Hey, and it's so hey, funny hey, because he, had a, he has a quote. I'm going to get to his quotes in a minute. He said this. So to be clear, our commitment to inclusivity is, is grounded in historical authenticity and respect for diverse perspectives, not driven by modern agendas. Mm. Like, bro, you're fucking lying through your teeth, mm. dude. Everybody can see this and see that you're trying to get on the woke homo bandwagon, dude. Everybody can look at this and see... You're trying to ram in a minority. You're trying to ram in a black guy into a game that, that should be a historical Japanese game. This is this is. They're trying to ram in a black guy, and they also ram that black guy in as well. <laughs> if that makes sense, if you're catching my drift, if you're catch what I'm saying, that's a bar right there. That's a bar right there. No Diddy. That's a, the, these things are hella racist towards everybody, man. Everybody, like I explained earlier, right? To black people, brown people, white people, uh, to females as well, to my beautiful queens out there as well. And these things, make no mistake, are using LGTV people as shields as well. These things are hella racist, man. Hella racist towards everybody, bruh. If they can play, if they can play that card, we surely can too, based off of what they're doing and based off of whatever what we're seeing right now. <laughs> this is what I've been thinking about. I've been thinking about these disgusting Twinkies. Look, when a product fails in market and everybody hates it. This is the guy, by the way, who's who said all these stupid quotes. Uh, when a product of fails, course. it's actually not our job to tell you why. Mm. All, all you need to be concerned with is that it failed. This game has failed to capture the imagination of your audience. So instead of, uh, so what, what Ubisoft is doing right now is they're trying to say, oh, people aren't interested in this game because they're racist. And, and look, that could be true, but it doesn't really matter. What you should be doing as an, as an owner and a runner of a company <laughs> is trying to figure out, gosh, why aren't people interested in our game? Why aren't people buying our game? Uh, that is the that is the problem, and that is the question that you should be asking. It is your job as the marketer yeah. to figure out why people don't like the game. It's not mm. our job to explain to you why we mm. don't like the game. And yeah. them saying that it's because people are racist is absurd. The only reason Absolutely. they're doing this is because of their woke politics. So uh, I want to get into the articles here. So this first article, um, Assassin's Creed Shadows to lay foundation for a narrative evolution in the franchise, according to Ubisoft, Mark Alexis Cotier. And this is very upsetting. He said, as we move forward, our goal is to put history back at the center of the player's experience. Putting history back at the center by making up a fake history. You're off to a bad start, my dude. If, if you're wanting to put history back at the center, why was the first thing you did to make up a fake story about things that a person never did in a, in a wooden, woke, and 2024 blackwashing situation? Here's another hilarious quote he said. And guys, this is why I'm saying Assassin's Creed is completely cooked because of quotes like this. He said, the modern day storyline will explore de deeper themes of memory, identity, and autonomy. How the past shapes who we are and how controlling this past can impact our future. These themes will allow us to reflect on contemporary issues. <laughs> uh, Assassin's Creed, the top surgery DLC. Yeah, guys, this is this is your modern audience. This this is why I'm saying Assassin's Creed is, is completely cooked, dude. It's completely done. These themes will allow us to reflect on contemporary issues. Like gay trans people going into schools and uh, pedophiles molesting kids and top surgery <laughs> DLC. Hey, 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 uh, whoa, whoa, tranquilo, papi. Yo, papi, chill, papi. Hey. Pull the brakes, Poppy. Yo, tranquilo, man, tranquilo. Assassin's Creed, the oh my god. Yo, that is, oh, is, is that chick right from the Inception movie? It was a chick, it was a female, uh, I forgot her name. I forgot her name. Uh, uh, yeah, she was very uh, good in Inception. 
So she uh, joined the Brotherhood, I guess. Welcome to the Brotherhood. <laughs> So she she uh, switched uh, she switched sides. It used to be a sister that became a brother. So this is a sister that became a brother. Yeah, I I, I forgot her name. I, I forgot. Yeah, any of you knew, know her name? Uh, she changed her name to more masculine name as well, right? Elliot Page or Ellen Page or I could be wrong. I'm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let me let me know in the comments, okay? All I know is that she was in in Inception. But, uh, yeah, Inception was a very good movie though. Very loved it, loved it. It was with Leonardo DiCap uh, DiCaprio, and uh, she was also in. I guess now she's a brother, so sister became a brother. I guess welcome to the squad. Welcome to the squad. Right, let's get back to the content here. Guys, and here's here's our, here's the famous Elliot Page who. who oh hit yeah, Elliot Page. There we go. There we go. So is it was her her was her name Ellen before or Elliot, or is it Elliot now or Ellen now? I believe now it's Elliot. Elliot is a male name, if I'm. If I'm um, uh, not mistaken, but her top surgery scars really well here with the trans DLC with Assassin's Creed. He said, our commitment isn't just about reflecting on the past. It's about ensuring that the stories we tell continue to unite, inspire and challenge players, regardless of their background. And we'll continue to stand by these values because they are central to the heart of the franchise. And I believe to the future of storytelling itself. Yeah, dude, don't you don't you play video games to be challenged? To just don't you look at uh, don't don't you want your game to be filled with trans people and gay people because we, we play games to be challenged don't don't we yeah uh, challenging like, dude, it's so freaking condescending it is challenging man these things are hella racist they're they are the actual bigots using LGTV people as shields and they're like okay so Ubisoft upcoming Assassin's Creed Hexe will be the gayest Assassin's Creed yet. <laughs> They're not even concerned about like making the the best Assassin's Creed yet. They're about this, bro. <laughs> man, what is wrong with these people, man? What what is going on? Seriously, man. Seriously, if you're like straight or not straight, like uh, if you're black or not black or white or not white, brown or not bright, if you're just a human, okay. Let me just say this straight away. If you're, a, if you're a human seeing this, what's your first reaction? Logically, logically. Do you want, like, the best Assassin's Creed or do you want, like, the gayest Assassin's Creed? What are we talking about? Why are you guys doing this crap, man? Just make a good game. Simple, 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 simple. What is, what is up with this, man? Damn, man. Like, they went crazy. Uh, and another factor, another thing that we heard is that they had a Japanese male lead for this game, but after that uh, BLM thing, they, this is a big, this was a massive report a couple of weeks ago that was broken by, uh, I believe, and Endymion TV, yeah, Endymion TV, he revealed this uh, story, take it as rumor, but it's believable, it's very much believable because uh, he was hit up with like some good sources but still, take it as rumors, we heard, this is a rumor right, this is like the word on the street apparently after BLM, they changed the protagonist and that, that's when they added Yasuke, it was supposed to be a Japanese lead and they changed it after and they they showed i kid you not these this is not my opinion this is uh this is the news okay this is what we heard that they added yasuke chopping japanese people in a store they showed that gameplay to people behind the scenes how tone deaf is that just because he's just because he's black they're like okay we're gonna use him and do that uh, yeah, that's that's my point, right? Like, what what is wrong with these people, man? That is hella racist. That is, and of course, when he's fighting hip hop music playing, even though there was no hip hop back in the 1600. Man, I love hip hop, man. Joe Budden, uh, Crooked Eye, right? One of my favorite rapper, 50 Cent, of course. Eminem, Eminem, I love Eminem. That that was the uh, the time I grew up. Now you got a lot of rappers I don't know the name of, but these are Logic, you know, Royce the Five Nine. These are kind of like the rappers I grew up with. Of course, Tupac as well, but I wasn't super big on Tupac because uh, um, I never uh, never really got into his music. Not saying it was bad, I listened to, but I, I mean, I'm saying like when I was a kid, that's when Eminem was like big. So I heard his crap and then I know he collaborated a lot with Royce the Five Nine, Crooked Eye, Joe Budden, Yawa, if you know, yeah, Slaughterhouse, uh, that was a group. Man, that was, that was crazy, like that was big. Dennis was another rapper uh, as well. Some of you might know him. He's not like big or anything, but he sounded very much like Eminem and he was very, very good. Very talented uh, as well, right? Mm. Yeah, Logic, absolutely. I feel like Logic retired, could be wrong. 
Joe Budden definitely retired. I'm not sure of any controversy because uh, I heard there are a lot of controversies with Joe Budden, which I'm not aware of. So I'm just saying it as in his music. So I'm not aware of the, the controversies. The reason I'm mentioning this is because I heard that he was in a lot of controversies and I know some of you will bring it up. Man, <laughs> Joe Budden was in this con uh, con uh, controversy, this. Not denying that maybe he is, maybe he wasn't, or maybe, yeah, you know what I mean? But I'm not aware of any of that. I'm just purely talking about the, the art and the, the music that he made. It was very, very story heavy. Uh, simple rhymes but very impactful and very very good yeah right but this is what these suckers do uh, this is what these suckers did okay crazy let's get back to it man because we're gonna be around here for a while if we Dang. keep on talking these people these people have music. absolutely no morality they're complete trash and they want to push their satanic gay communist values on you and they'll call you a bigot when you're not down with it but homie young homie the joke is on you nobody's buying this game yo homie. it's in the dumpster already before it even comes out nobody's buying this game you're not too big to fail, Ubisoft. Um, so th this is the second article. Let's read some of the quotes from the second article. He said, Assassin's Creed has always been about exploring the full spectrum of human history. And by its very nature, that history is diverse. Staying true to history means embracing the richness of human perspective without compromise. Um, it, this is just incoherent word salad, dude. It's, it's, it's like, bro, this, this garbage Bruh. that's coming Bruh. out of your mouth might work in a BS corporate environment, but nobody gives a crap, bud. Mm. What it comes down to is you're yeah, not making bud. a historical game. You're ramming in woke politics and we ain't gonna buy it, bud. Yeah, bud. I guarantee you this guy loses his job within the year. If this guy doesn't get fired immediately, um, uh, Assassin's Creed is absolutely going going down the tubes. Staying true. There were also rumors, right, that Ubisoft is looking to sell it to 10 cent. Guys, not not for 10 cents, like 10 pennies. For, for a two 10 cent, it's a company, okay? It's a company. Come on, yeah. man, guys. I know most of you guys are aware, but there's always one guy, hey, Ubisoft is not gonna sell their company for 10 cents. Yes, guys, they're not gonna sell it for 10 cents, but they're gonna sell it to a company by the name of 10 cents, if that makes sense, okay? There were rumors, and apparently one of the insider came out and confirmed it, so that's no longer a rumor. That's a, that's a real thing. They can sell it. They are exploring the idea. Why? Because their shares tank, their stock tank like a rock. It went down. They used to be closer to 10 billion and now I believe they're under 1 billion. And because of that news, I believe they're now above 1 billion. Because people are like, okay, that, you know, they're gonna sell it. They're gonna make a ton of money. So let me invest real quick. And finally, let me make money. So people, based off of this rumor and news, they started investing. Now I'm not sure what's their price for the stock, but their stock crashed more than 80% in the last five years prior to that news. Now it recovered. But I'm not sure how much it recorded. Let me Google that. True real quick. to history? Why did you make junk up then if you wanted to stay true to history? Um, it's all it's referring to Assassin's Creed. It's always been diverse, he said. And this isn't new ground for the franchise. From Altair to Avalon to Grand Prix de Ratchatonke, that was the uh, Native American in Assassin's Creed. Now, diversity is not bad. Forced diversity is when you guys are using uh, black people as shields being racist towards Asian people, being racist towards black people, using LGTV people as shields as well. You know what I mean, right? And, and openly calling out and openly being racist towards white people. You guys don't like females either. Like, who you guys like, man? Like, what the hell? You know what I mean? So in the last year, in one year's time, they lost 50%. So it recovered right here a little bit. So it recovered a little bit. In the last five years, 70. Before it was like 82. I've seen it 82. Some people, I believe, reported 83% as well. So right now, in the last five years, 72% down. 73% almost, right? So they recovered approximately like 9 to 10% back after that news. But still, I mean, guys, 70%. It means that if you invested $100, you're left with <laughs> you're left with like almost 30, man. Think about that for a second. Three. Um, we've consistently introduced protagonists from diverse racial, ethnic, and gender identities. Cap. History is inherently diverse, and so is Assassin's Creed and the stories we tell. Except Young Boo Boo, uh, all of these games were historical. There's way more Assassin's Creed games than these. They've all been historical in the sense that they took people from that time and that period yeah, who yeah, could yeah. believably be in that time and period Facts. and they put those people in the game. Facts. This is the first example of them ramming woke politics into a mm. game and that's why it's getting absolutely gutted. On yeah, absolutely. Guys, check out this video on the screen. We recently ended up getting PS5 Pro versus PS5 versus Xbox gameplay comparison. You want to know like if PS5 Pro is actually good or not? Spoiler alert, it's not check it out and you're gonna find out why that's the case because you might have heard good things about it you might have even bought it but 
or you might be looking to buy it or you might have not bought it but check it out and you're gonna find out check it out and i'll see you there